Hey guys, welcome to another Druid POV with commentary. Today we are going to focus on Conjured Amalgamate. Just a small disclaimer before we start, you have to remember that there are multiple ways of playing Druid. Every group is different, so always remember to adjust to your group level and needs. This is a commentary of my gameplay with some explanations of possible build choices. The footage that you will see will be from solo heal scenario in advanced study grants, as the main goal of this series is to maybe help you get your druid gameplay to a more advanced level. This is a low pressure fight, but it can be a challenge to generate enough CA to provide alacrity, so you have to manage your skills wisely if your group is not taking damage. Apart from that you should be responsible for collecting shields, providing aegis or stability for hand slams, this is important so that your DPS players can instantly do their rotations without having to dodge. And if you go for challenge mode, you should also be reflecting lasers with your staff 5. For this fight I'm running a pretty standard setup. Clarion Bond for faster boon ramp up, Moment of Clarity for CC on shields, Windborne Nodes for regen on Warhorn, a Blood Moon for more CC on shields, Verda Edging for protection, and you might be tempted to replace it with Celestial Shadow for super speed for collecting but your DPS players might hate you if you stealth them with it, so you probably shouldn't take it. My skill setup is pretty standard as well. Heal Glyph, Sun Spirit for Might, Equality for Stability and CC, and you can consider replacing it with Glyph of Tides uh, and use it in CA to pull swords together, but I prefer Equality anyway because you can use it to give yourself stability for slams while collecting in the last phase, and it can save you if there is a slam happening on your way to collect shields and you miss time dodging it, because you can instantly stun break yourself. You can also use it to CC the shield which might spawn on your way. And then Soul Spirit for Aegis and Prot, and Elite Glyph for Emergency Res. For pets I'm taking White Tiger for Aegis for slams, and the DPS pet which is Iboga. I'm running full Harrier's gear with Monk Runes, Monk Relic, Paralysation and Transference Sigils. I start the fight on my DPS pet. I open with Stone Spirit to Aegis the first hand slam. Then I follow with Warhorn 5 for Bulls, Sun Spirit for Might, CA 4, 2, 5 and 2 again and then I close CA. It's important to do a short CA rotation here, so you can have CA back up to boon up the group again before you go collecting. After I close CA I use my Axe and Warhorn skills, especially Warhorn 4, which is a multi-hit skill, to speed up my Astral Force generation. It doesn't matter if we do hand swap strat or not, for second slam I swap to white tiger and use f2 for aegis and boons. Then I slightly precast my heal glyph to heal up the second subgroup which might not have aegis, which also helps with my ca generation, and I continue using my axe skills. As you can see my astral force is full again, just in time before alacrity runs out. The hand should be dead by now but we fucked up a bit, so for this slam I'm using my equality glyph for stability, as I don't have any aegis available. Now we faced, so I'm making sure that my group has all the bones before I go for shields. I cast my Sun Spirit and Pet Swap for Clarion Bond. Warhorn 5 is up again and my group is in range, so I cast it immediately. By the time I'm done with collecting, my CA is back up, so I can use it again for Might and Alec. For this slam I'm giving stability again, because I don't want to interrupt my CA5 to cast Stone Spirit. I could have cast it before I started CA5, but I didn't, and my pet swap for Tiger is like a second too late. You just have to remember that if you use stability instead of Aegis for hand slam, you have to be ready to heal up the group right after the slam. It's time to collect again, so I'm casting what I can before I leave, which is Warhorn 5 and pet swap. Whenever my CA is ready again, I'm using it for Alacrity and Might, so everyone has bones for the start of the next phase again, and again I repeat what I did before. The boss will be dead soon. If your collecting phases are longer, you may get your CA back up while you are collecting, and in this case you can cast whatever you can from range on the group, like CA 1, 2, 3, and then use CA 4 while you are running through them. If you are doing CM, place your staff 5 under the person who is targeted by laser, and then you don't need any other reflect. And now we can look at the fight again without my comments. Bye!